Hello YouTube. I've uh, decided recently that uh, I'm not using my truck as much as I should, so I want to do something to keep the battery uh, maintained in case I let it sit too long between uses. So I decided to get one of these uh, Harbor Freight solar battery tenders. Really low power, but um, I've seen some YouTube videos and they people seem to like them, so I thought I'd get it. They have a connection coming from the solar cells and two optional connectors. One that will hook up directly to your battery and one that will plug into an accessory outlet or cigarette lighter port in your car. But my truck does not have any accessory ports that are powered when the uh, ignition switch is off. And I don't want to run these under the hood and have to take them off open the hood, do all that garbage every time I want to uh, drive the truck. So I decided instead to do this. Use this connector and use the connector off of this and attach it to this. This is a memory keeper. You plug this part into a uh, portable uh, battery pack, you know, jump starter, and this in your OBD2 port under your dash. And uh, I found out that pin 4, that pin 4 right here, if I can get it to focus, pin 4 and pin 16 are direct connections to your battery. 4 is ground and 16 is positive. So I decided to uh, connect this to the end of my uh, um, solar charger. So I can just plug this in and uh, do it from inside. I bought this instead of just one of the, uh, you can buy these all by themselves with solder connections on inside but I decided I needed this for another project so I'm uh, just going to cut this off and solder this in well here it is plugged into my uh, diagnostics port this has the added benefit of telling you that there's power you can tell by the voltmeter it is getting something. It's jumping around because the door's open, turning on dome lights, things like that. So with the door closed and the truck locked, it should be just fine. By the way, I already did tests that confirmed that the voltage coming through the port matched the voltage from the battery. And I just went back and did it with the doors locked and the alarm set with me in the truck and the voltage stabilized. So I have no, uh, no doubt that the, uh, the uh, voltage jumping around had something to do with the uh, truck preparing to be started, like the uh, fuel pump, things like that, boosting. And uh, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and cut this baby solder the end of it to, to that uh, adapter there and I'll be uh, ready to go. I'll show it to you when I get there. So this end is now soldered and heat shrink covered connected to this end. Continuity is correct. All I have to do is put this in my windshield Make these connections, plug it in to the OBD port, and I'm good to go. One thing I'm going to do is disable this light. I have another one of these I've already uh, worked on for my travel trailer. And uh, this little LED lights up when it's charging, and it flashes when it's low charge, steady when it's uh, full charge are charging at a full voltage and it just takes voltage away 
and this is a very low wattage charger so uh, disable it I will you may uh, see these little covers here you need to be popped out with a small scribe there's small Phillips screwdrivers in there everything is covered with black silicone inside so you have to kind of dig around to get to the connections to cut inside to disable the light but it does improve it a little bit but my trailer and my truck both have pretty good batteries so this ought to be enough to uh, just keep them topped up once again your connections should be pin number four this is pin one you can see here through pin eight pin one two there's a blank spot and four this one right here goes to ground pin 16 is over here this one in the corner should go straight to the battery positive connection anyway that is uh, my video and uh, remember if you don't have uh, a, a powered accessory outlet in your car or truck and you want to put a solar battery charger in there without messing around under the hood you can also use an OSB connection you can buy one of these without the cord basically the same thing with a uh, cord stabilizer for about seven bucks on Amazon this one cost me about nine because it came with the uh, with the uh, uh, 12 volt adapter plug on the other end which I wanted for something else so there you go that's it thanks a lot uh, don't hesitate to leave comments Thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down. Um, you can keep it to yourself. Bye.